Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Shark and Noor present three three minute rounds for the amateur middleweight title, sponsored by Charles Trot Roofing. And in the red corner of the regular, two wins and two defeats, weighing in at 184.6 pounds, representing Combat Evolution in Cornwall, Jeremy T. Jeremy Dingle representing Combat Evolution. First of two Combat Evolution fighters we've got on the card here at Shock and All 22. This boy's down in Cornwall. And a fight for this 185 pound amateur title. Fired up, Darwin Pamphill, representing Premier MMA, wakes his way down to the cage. Looks very eager to get proceedings underway here in this middleweight amateur title bout. Your referee in charge of the action, Mr. Rich Mitchell. Three three minute rounds for the amateur middleweight title. Take of the tape here in this middleweight title bout. Jeremy Dingle representing Combat Evolution 2 and 2. Takes on Dawid Panfield representing Premier MMA 3 and 1. Referee in charge is Rich Mitchell. Fighters touch gloves. Fast start. Dingle straight away with the takedown. Hands in top half guard. Yeah, Pen Penville um, has a, um, a nice underhook position there which you can go to the back if he keeps it, or he can sweep. Oh, back to butterfly guard for Panville now. And goes all the way back to full guard. Has that arm isolated up Colin. Yeah, trying to attack that is a great move. Could be a triangle set up maybe. Yeah, he's creeping his legs up. I think you're right, David. Yeah, Panther looks very comfortable on his back, doesn't he? Oh, almost a nice sweep there. And lucky for Panville that Dingle back in this full guard position. But Panther definitely has gained his respect and he goes for the armbar. Oh, power's out of it though. Yeah, Dingle with a little juggernaut now. Just pulling out, oh, br brutal knee to the body, Colin. Yeah, that, that was uh, right into the rib cage. He's trying to keep, put both his hooks in. It might be a better idea to fall to the side if you can. Yeah, so you've got to be careful. 
with that position. He's doing a good job to stay on him. Yeah, Dingle now on the back of Panfield. Just peppering away here. Has both hooks in. A lot of time left in the round to work. A lot of time, definitely. And, and, and there's other things he can do, his arm bars from this position. And he may just be content just to, to pepper away and just strike from here. He, I mean, he's, he's definitely winning the round if, if he's doing that. Difficult to see from our vantage point here. He's, he's got it tight, he's got it tight. Dingle looking to set the choke in now, to try and take this middleweight title. No, it's not quite, not quite underneath the, the uh, chin. Yeah, of course, Colin, with these oh. gloves, it's very difficult, isn't it? And we say that, Panfield gets top oh. position, looks to get some payback himself. Panfield didn't He's angry. Like He's angry, didn't like that at all. Wow, Panfield pouring it on towards the end of the round here. Yeah, like he should as well. Nice. And then went to transition to the back himself. Wow, what a topsy-turvy round that was. Panfield, you know, showed some good ground skills early on, didn't he, Colin? Good work from the half guard and then back to full guard, was looking to set up submissions, nearly swept his man, but Dingle ended up on the back looking for the choke and then Panfield poured it on at the end, just what a back and forth round. Yeah, really exciting round. I mean, these guys are middleweights, so, um, if, you know, it's a great pace for a middle for middleweights. It's an amazing pace, you know. Um, I liked the, uh, the retaliation, if you like, of Panville. <laughs> yeah, he was almost, yeah, he was, he was unhappy, wasn't he? He was a man that was, uh, a man that was scorned almost <laughs> by that. <laughs> By that back attempt, and, uh, yeah, just pouring on the, the offense, and it's going to be interesting to see if he comes out with the same kind of intensity, Colin, in this second. Yeah. Because I guess you know maybe he realised how close he was to to losing that title. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Or maybe he's just got somewhere to be. Yeah. <laughs> Fighters touch gloves. Second is underway. Nice kick to the body from Panville. Dingle forces his man to the cage, looking for that takedown. Yeah, both guys look really powerful, maybe in different ways, but you yeah. know, they're, they're, they're both very powerful. Oh, nice. Old school Gracie pickup. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> That's some Hoist Gracie self-defense 101 there. Beautiful little pickup and dump from Dingle. Ends up in a dominant side control position here. And Panfield just holding on to his man collar in this position. Yeah, he doesn't want to take any shots from here. It, 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 yeah, I was going to say, he'll explode up at some point. I don't think he'll be here for long. Yeah, looked up and nodded to the referee then. In a strange way, but he's given up his back again, and we've been here before. Dingle looking to secure the back of Dawid Panfield. Yeah, he's, he's hunting for that, for that neck. Oh. Looks like Panfield's going to stay on top. And is he going to try and just unleash the barrage of punches that he did at the end of the first round? Yeah, Dingle oh, just big right hand from Panfield. Dingle, Dingle not really defending that well. He's just trying to get his legs in the way. And now he gives his back up, but no hook. So he, he may be able to turn out of this. Okay, one hook now. Come on! over Dingle now on the floor and peppering away with shots. Dingle's got to try and stand up or something here, Colin. He can't wait here too long. No. Oh, it's looking... Has he looking. gone for the choke? Yeah, he has, that looks under the chin. He's got to pull the arm down. He's got to pull the arm down. Dingle's tough. 
trying to tough this choke out here. Thirty seconds on the clock. Difficult to see. Is that under the chin? Oh. It is. He's got the tap. Wow. <laughs> What a back and forth title fight we've just had here at Shock and Awe. Jeremy Dingle had the back of Dawid Panfield on numerous occasions, Colin. But when Panfield got the back himself, he was able to get the finish. Fantastic work for him picking up this 185 pound title. Really exciting fight. Really exciting fight for me, that. Fair play to both fighters. Um, but congratulations to the new champion. In, uh, in Dover Panfield. And your winner, after two minutes and 41 seconds of round two, by way of rear naked choke, and now the shock and awe amateur middleweight champion, Tavi Panvel! And let's cheer for your runner-up, Jeremy Dingle.